It was a DC Comics fan dream come true. Yes, there are spoilers in this review, and I have to do it because unless someone thoroughly explains this film and in a review, you just won't understand, or a lot of you won't. A lot of the things they hit on were very thought-provoking. Things that had to do with religion, you know, how people saw Superman in their world and, 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 and how they saw him as a savior and uh, what people's reactions would be, even in real life, to someone like that if, if he existed. Other things like Batman's vision of the uh, coming of Darkseid and the Apocalyptans and the uh, actual parademons, which was awesome. Um, the Batman in the movie is an amalgam of all the Batmans that have come before and in the, in the previous movies. He kills like the, I believe the 1940s Batman or the 1930s Batman. I, I just love the way they put the movie together. You know, two hours and 33 minutes, he managed to stick all that in it. I, I thought I was gonna go to a movie to watch like a campy superhero film, um, trying to be like Marvel or trying to be like Avengers or Captain America, but no, I mean, different. Uh, D it seems like DC took a, a whole different approach to this, a completely different approach. And it worked. It really worked. I just don't understand where all the bad reviews are coming from. I don't I don't get it. You know, in, in a sense, Superman has to stay moral. Superman has to have higher standards than the rest of us because with all the power that he has, very action-packed. The fight scenes were amazing. You know, Batman having those visions. You know, it seems like they're going to go with the legacy storyline from the Superman animated series. Darkseid brainwashes Superman into thinking that, um, he had raised him as a son. And so Superman ends up uh, as a general in Darkseid's army. I mean, they showed all of that. They showed, uh, you know, the soldiers that were working for Superman, uh, the apocalyptic army. They showed the parademons. It seems like Batman's the one to bring the Justice League together. I think that when Justice League comes out, I think the beginning of the film is, is going to be about how, you know, the coming of Darkseid. And uh, Darkseid is going to take over the world and begin to terraform the Earth into a sort of like, or transform the Earth into a sort of like apocalypse. For those of you who don't know, apocalypse is the planet uh, that Darkseid lord, lords over. He, you know, Darkseid is the king of Apocalypse. And he's always, in the comic books, he's always wanted Earth for himself. And he's wanted to turn Earth into another Apocalypse. You know, he has an army of parademons and uh, they're all superhuman. You know, everybody's rooting for Batman to win because honestly, I, I predicted this before the movie came out. You know, I knew that it would be a tie. And it was a tie in a sense because had Superman wanted to, he could have killed Batman at any time. He could have. I mean, you saw it. You could see it. You know, the, the armor wasn't really holding up much against Superman's power. Superman was throwing him around like a rag doll. Uh, Batman was in severe pain from all the throwing around and stuff and the punching and, and, and the pushing and, you know, colliding against Batman or, or, or against or crashing into that building. Uh, you know, you see uh, Batman uh, just in pain, man. And, you know, really Superman had the advantage. I mean... Anyone who went to see this film thinking, oh, yeah, Batman's going to win because he's the tech guy and he's just, no, no, he's not. No, he's not. Batman was at a, at a complete disadvantage. It was just really him trying to prove to Superman that if he ever thought about trying to rule, rule over or control the human race, that they would fight back and that they had the will to fight back. You know, I, I told some guys behind me in the movie theater, uh, who, oh, yeah, I knew Batman. Would when I looked back at them, I was like, no, he didn't. He held back. And because he held back, Batman took advantage, used kryptonite against him and, and kryptonite vapor or whatever that was, gas, which really wasn't working much in the beginning. Superman was still struggling and fighting against him. And if anything, I've never seen Batman so irrational in my life. So if you're going to criticize anything, criticize that, that Batman was very irrational and, and, and just an angry man just I, I just just picking on the on the boy scout i love batman by the way I'm a, I'm a huge fan of batman of course i am um you know they're all my kids but <laughs> you know the way wonder woman entered the battle and the soundtrack that was awesome i can't wait to see more of wonder woman in the next films and i that was great